I remember that. Hey guys, welcome to another Sunday My Hero Academia manga chapter stream. Uh, we are covering this uh, latest chapter, 347. Uh, we're starting off a little bit late, but I'm here with Mark. Hi! Mark, there's something that we always do before every new chapter, and what would that be? Mm. <laughs> recap episode! Yes, this is the recap episode with uh, 346. <laughs> Um, I did a reread on this one. It's it's still crazy. Like I I last time I titled the stream like the this is the team of mission glow up. This is we're not, we start. Look what I just sent you. What, what, this is in the game. Okay, let me let me just check right here. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I was like, does that say what I think it says? It, it's almost correct on the spelling, too. The ancient, ancient dragon, dragon, dragon knight. Think... Ancient dragon knight Kristoff Ashes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I, 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 I do the thing. Like, dee -dee -dee -dee. He shows up. My man. My man. What am I doing? Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, my fault. <laughs> I'm putting that in the, in the message in chat right now. It's so... That's funny. That's really funny. Oh, God. Anyway, my hero. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes. So, here we have... Um, what was it? Uh, we have Murko, Edshot, Bakugo, um, Nejre, Amajiki, uh, all up... Oh, and also Best Genius doing the support in the back. Uh, they're all against the all, all for Shiggy. Um, the pretty much the Avengers level threat at this point. Um, he uh, all for Shiggy is kind of like observing everything that's happening. Like he's in this very confined space high up in the air. Uh, he tries to do decay, but it's set up in a way where like once he does it, it kind of like flings him backwards um, into the electromagnetic fields and kind of like just pretty much like fly traps him. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty pretty much a bug. It's like if you put a fucking fly inside of him, like a bug zapper. Really though. <laughs> and then I cannot ignore this, but she is like still going in with the with the jokes or the references. <laughs> There's a gap in your seams. <laughs> that's a, that's illegal denim. <laughs> that that is true. <laughs> your very existence is illegal denim. Denim. <laughs> I think everyone to this day is still wondering what is illegal denim. What what is illegal denim? Only best genus knows. Any denim he be, any any denim that he sees fit to be illegal is illegal. So we get a shot of like every single person who's doing support here. Power loader, we so we got Cementos, um Momo's even helping out. Lunch Rush is in the scene. Lunch Rush. Yo, Lunch Rush. Anyway, on the other side, here's the whole, like, setup of powering this entire system up. <laughs> Kaminari. We even have Mongo over here, too. I love that guy. We also have, like, the other two years as well. Um, and, of course, my favorite teams from Sonic Heroes. <laughs> we have <laughs> Monoma, we have Aizawa, we have Manuel. Monoma, Aizawa. Manual. Where's automatic? <laughs> Manual automatic. Get it? Ah, I, I get. I yeah. Uh, 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 I see what you did there, and I hate uh -huh. it. <laughs> the thing is, I do wonder though. I wonder why they chose manual. Well, manual is the one who has been helping Aizawa like kind of maintain like a constant use. Oh, that's a good question. I think I kind of like it because of like how unexpected you would. He is as like um like a pivotal character, because Manuel is just like a dude. You look, you hear the name, you're like, oh okay. But then, I I think it's because of like how impactful he is to our like our characters and like later on his role that it now carries a little bit more significance now. So I think it's mainly to like subvert expectations. Like all he does is just manipulate water. I don't think he can really generate it or anything like that. It's just simply. A very like subtle type of quirk use. 
He's the most powerful by the ocean. He is the oh my god, dude! Like he's the very example of why like there's some like illegal dudes trying to like get you to feed these drugs of like power like enhancing like quirks. Imagine if he had that, you put him by an ocean. <laughs> he is Poseidon. Yeah, like manual versus then manual Poseidon. Oh, but um, you know. It says his it says here his profile implies that his hero name is secretly self-deprecating. Oh, oh, that's uh, <laughs> we'll we'll uh, we'll just overlook that for a little bit. And we'll his just... surname Mizushima is comprised of the kanji for water and island. His first name Masaki means correct, justice, and standard measure, which can also be collectively read as the term for normal, regular. Damn. Damn. Hey, man. He, he's out here. He out he, here. Yeah, he's out here. He's he's right here behind the, the guy in the chair. <laughs> um, Last little bit, like, from 346 was, like, uh, all for Shiggy producing all the fingers. All for fingers. <laughs> <laughs> they look so... They're, they're legit Elden Ring fingers. He, oh, my God. Do you think it's a reference? <laughs> Honestly, I thought about it. But like when I saw it, I was like, I wonder. But anyway, this this pretty much equates to the grossest hand that all for one has ever made to put down all my and still lost. So give props to the people who made this because they somehow made this even grosser. <laughs> Congrats, you have repulsed our eyes. And I was thinking, like maybe like the extra hands are like simply to maybe obscure like the sight a little bit. So that like it has less of an effect, but we'll I guess we'll see once we hop into three forty seven, which we are gonna do right now. And look, more fingers. And look, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. Revolting. Uh, terrible. Insubordinate. Okay. Legit, like a tree, like a tree of fingers. Oh God, it it's it's starting to spread. Look at the building. Every Oh, oh, okay. It looks like a tree. <laughs> it really does. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll we'll begin with the chapter. So we are at uh three forty seven. We got all for Shiggy with all the fingers, as he like thrust that all forward in front. Here's Bako. Whoa, <laughs> Jesus! Look at all fingers. Anyway, the uh, chapter is called Inflation. That's disgusting. Anyway, he's he's just saying like, what the hell is this creepy crap? As it yeah you, yeah pretty much it hits like the the um the UA building. It really looks like a tree that just birthed itself. A tree that just said, "I now have fingers." <laughs> Behold the finger tree. <laughs> you want money trees? You got it. Here's the finger tree. We didn't ask for any of this. What the world? Oh my god. Um, alright, so here oh, is it actually like on the ground level? I didn't even notice this, but uh, I despise this editor's note. <laughs> <laughs> is so no goddamn so no goddamn funny. Anyway, they they uh referred to Monoma. Phantom Thief. I'm i I'm s I'm, I'm still staring. It's still in effect. Eraser is it's funny because like he does look like a little bit of Aizawa, but also like one hundred percent like full cow Deku. So I I get it. This is Star, this is Monoma. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking shit. This is Monoma. Of all the Ender notes, headshots like is is it is it not a quirk then? Is this just simply growth? Um, what was it? Uh, just my uh, body on its own. Gross. Yeah, that's really gross. Anyway, uh, we see a, little, a bit of his hair. The same with my hair, or my nails growing longer. <laughs> I wonder if they did that intentionally. Like, ooh, look at those nails, though. Ooh, those French tips. <laughs> <laughs> the L'Oreal hair. The French tips. Those French tips. Why are you doing this all for Shiggy? It's because I'm a material girl. 
I'm it's because I want to destroy everything except my fresh Manny Petty. <laughs> anyway, he continues. The body must adapt to every ever evolving quirks. This is this new form that humanity uh, acquires is the next step for a super powered society in line with the singularity proposed by Garaki. So basically, he's saying like this is all a part of the singularity that Garaki theorized about. All right, I'll I'll finish this last page because it's absolutely disgusting. Oh my god! Uh, so it's just like a full panel of like Shigaraki and like a little bit too much detail on like all for hands, all for fingers. You got fingers growing out of fingers. Got what's, you know what's really disgusting? Hmm. Look, if you look down to like the bottom right, the two that are like inclining on each other. Do you see what I mean? Uh, I think so. It's, like, the nails are, they, they, like, one is facing up, one is facing down, and the nails are, like, going inward. <sighs> Honestly, like, if I, like, look at this panel, like, afar, it looks like coral. I can see that. But, oh, uh, anyway, Shikara anyway, was saying, like, you people who uh, sweep it all under the rug and shy away from the inevitable future couldn't possibly comprehend. Anyway, we have uh, Mirko Al already lost her prosthetics. I need spares! And like, like some bunker pops up. It just has spares for her. I, I knew she lost her arm. I didn't realize she also lost her leg from the war. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. Like, you can justify, like, maybe, like, she'd still be okay considering she lost just one arm, but her leg should be still intact because that's just, like, her entire, like, power. But, nah. I, I know I know one went through her leg, but I didn't think it needed to be amputated. Yeah, but uh, all right, go ahead, Mark, for the uh, the next page. Yeah, as you saw, as you saw the last page, Mariko said, "I need some spares." And then, as you see, a metal a big container came up and gave it. We see like some uh, a prosthetic arm and a prosthetic legs. Nice. So we move forward to the next page, then we see Mariko grabs those real quick as it just goes back into the ground. Dynamitey. <laughs> Dynamite. Dynamite. I mean, in the tra in the fan translation that I read before, it was which is it's just dynamite. I think they knew that just that's what she meant, but I think this is going for a more comedic dynamite. <clears throat> we formed this team for this fight, so you so get your act together. He's speaking to Bakugo clearly. The name's Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite, <laughs> and you got a lot of nerve lecturing me. These two are definitely gonna get you on those nerves. You see, Baruko, huh? You're kind of sassy, aren't you? Baku, oh yeah, you want some of this bunny gal? We see Bestina, stay focused. You, your, your reply ought to be, sure. The both of them together, you want some too? <laughs> Poor Bestina, he's still trying to be a mentor among all this. I uh, know. We see Monoma, Aizawa, and Manuel. <laughs> Sensei, I'm, I swear, I'm doing it right. I haven't slipped up in any way. I know, I know that. You're good. Those hands, though. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so gross. He's like, those are disgusting. And then we look over, we see, uh, I think that's, uh, it's one of the pussycats I'm trying to remember her name. It'll come to me later. It might come to me later <laughs> on. We see, oh. she, we see that she's, we see that she, no, wait, is it, is it Mandalay? I think so, yes. Let me, I'll... Mandalay? Yeah. It's Mandalay saying, Eraser, Midori is making contact. Aizawa checking, Aizawa checking here, because Mandalay can relay the messages. Mm -hmm. Midoriya, where are you? M Monoma, damn it, Class A, what are you doing? <laughs> of course he'd say that. <laughs> God damn it, here. Class A. <laughs> we see uh, Izuku is talking through the messages. I'm sorry, Himiko Toga na nabbed me. I'm on Oku I think it's Okuto Island. Also, you're correct. It is Mandalay. I ah, gotcha. Re requesting a warp. Whoa! We hear the trans. As we hear the transmission, I was just like, Ugh. we have to. We see Sun Eater along with Edshot. Mm -hmm. We have to warp Midoriya back to us. <laughs> Edshot, no, we can't. Mon Monoma can only activate one copied quirk at a time. Switching from Eraser to Warp Gate to retrieve Midoriya would take around ten seconds. You see, best genus, eraser. Hmm. You've realized it, haven't you? You see the the hands. 
those innumerable growing spreading hands all right that's a page for me oh yeah if all of then we see the bridge uh, uh, uh. this doesn't get any gr this just site keeps getting grosser doesn't it it really does we see this again it can only really be described as a tree of hands going <laughs> in, in, into the dorm if all of them are capable of activating his decay that's a terrifying thought then the moment erasure is undone, we're finished. As we see a thing of Shigaraki smiling. Mm -hmm. If All that's right. just true, if you can activate decay with those, that's that's bad. This is true. Okay. <laughs> These editors. <laughs> we next page. Uh, another panel of Monoma in text again. This is Monoma. Anyway, he says Midoriya, Aizawa. Sorry. But uh, you've got to make it here on your own. Until then, here's Best Genus. We must strive for victory without one for all. And one's like, hell yeah! Uh, sure, Genus. Uh, I, I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> Sun Eater. <laughs> it's a really cool shot, but god damn it, Sun Eater. <laughs> I like Sun Eater, though. I'm a Jiki. I'm a Jiki. He's really cool. Yeah, he. Unfortunately, he hasn't really had a lot of like appearances because he's just been MIA for a good while, but this is still sick. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's right. They're still on a beach episode. Hey, look, you even have King Orca there. It's funny. I think we actually learned his name for the first time ever here. <clears throat> Let's see. Meanwhile, uh, 200 kilometers offshore in the Pacific Ocean. This is Okuto uh, Island. A southern island uh, with wide shoals, gorgeous views of the ocean, and a number of resorts. Uh, but the crown jewel of the island is Okuto's um, aquarium, which attracts both domestic and international tourists. <laughs> the, uh, the aquarium the director is none other than uh, Kuko Sakamata, a.k.a. Gang Orca. <laughs> anyway, Gang <laughs> Orca, incoming! <laughs> I think that's the first time we've ever heard his name. I think so too, unless you like maybe like dig deep into like the wiki stuff, but pretty much. Maybe. I love the detail Kudos of him, by the way. I know he's very detailed, especially those eyes. Anyway, we have this giant panel of like looks like Nomu pieces, like going to like like one central Nomu, as he like cries like ah more. <laughs> ah, Let's see. Big fish. These guys got major upgrades in Shaku. Uh, I'll also read this one too. Uh, one of the dudes on the opposing end did all this. Uh, did all for once stuff them all full of more quirks. As like the dude's like flush. It's that dude, Moonfish. Moonfish. Holy, actually, yeah, you're right. It's hard. It's hard for me to see him, but he. He looks like he's wearing some kind of. Um. Some kind of just le leatherish outfit. Yeah, a very suggestive one, it would seem. Be like, excuse me? <laughs> uh, you still trying to take our jobs? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to do my job. The flesh. King Orc is like, <laughs> don't forget the escape cons. Stay frosty, boys. <clears throat> oh my god. Holy shit. What was her name again? Uh, it was the internship with Froppy. <clears throat> but I thought yeah. that was I thought that was anime only. They decided to canonize it. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> he, like even the seal guy was in a panel in the monster, <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, it's canon now. Oh, cool. I just like rolled up on her name, Cyrus. She's like, Froppy, you good? I can't even read like the text like underneath it. Can you? I can. You good? That attack that attack was even able to reach our rear guard. Froppy replies, yes, but the shockwave. All right, uh, go ahead, Mark. Carried away your gravity in Deku. As we just see, uh, as we just see Deku and Ochako just in the midst of a huge-ass battlefield. And then we go down here. This is Ochako. What, what did Sensei say, Deku? We see Izuku. I gotta get there on my own. Things must be pretty dicey if they can't even use warp gate. We see Ochiko again. Then we better hurry and and then we see we, we see Toga rushing towards Izuku. That speed. I know Izuku dodges. Whoa. 
<laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we see, uh, we see Toga, Toga say, <clears throat> Don't go, Izuku. I love you, so please don't go. Ochiko, Toga. And then we see Izuku say this. She came at me with a knife, and Danger Sense didn't trigger. We see the, the fourth user. It's not recognized in the fret. She, po she poses as an as actual danger. That's so... Then we see back... You know, you'll see. Let me see right here. I can't believe someone like her really exists. That she's made it this far in life. Then Izuku says, "What exactly do you want from me?" Okay. On the final page, for you to be my boyfriend, she says. Ochiko says, "Ever see this for Ochiko on her side?" That's because when she hurts people, she does so out of pure, as we see Izuku, out of pure genuine affection. Damn. And that's dude. why Danger Sense never. I didn't I theorize about that. Uh, Danger Sense, uh, I'm not sure if you said that, but it pretty much acts on evil intentions specifically. Yeah, because I said, like, she must, like, she must not want to hurt them, but this actually goes a bit further than what I thought, which is, I thought, I think I might have thought about this a little bit, I don't know if I ever verbalized it, but, mm. like, it's like, what if she just does that because that's just her idea of affection? It's her own twisted idea of affection to where it's like there's no malice when she does it. Mm. It's like she doesn't mean anything. She doesn't she doesn't intend to be she doesn't intend for it to be violent. It just is. Damn, dude. That like puts an extra thick layer of just like how twisted like her life and her perceptions are. Because it's like, yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't do that out of love no that's a very violent very scary yeah. thing to do but but she doesn't see it that way mm -hmm. this is like yeah this is kind of crazy because uh obviously it, they they emphasize the fact that this is purely genuine affection for her to like actually wish for him to be her boyfriend is like the expression itself is almost like innocent but of course like that panel shows in the background the mess she just made I'll tell you what, right now, if I was Izuku, I'd be saying, uh, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> this is tough, dude, because, uh, I mean, I have no reason why Deku can't, like, well, I mean, I guess they emphasize the fact that she's actually, like, really, really quick. To the point where, like, if Deku's not careful, like, he gets caught up immediately. But otherwise, I feel like Deku could just, like, leave. I know, he could just say, hey, yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out. Araka, you take care of this? Will you? Uh, but, but they also gotta be careful because you forget she does still have, um, and she does still have twice his blood. She can use that as a bargaining chip, too. Like, if you, if you don't, I can do something with this. <laughs> she will absolutely level the fucking war. My god, dude. So, it, I, I would see that. Like, she would use that as a bargaining chip. She was threatened to, like, have Izuku stay and agree to it otherwise she's gonna let loose like oops all twice and absolutely just destroy the resort and then literally probably spread across the ocean all the way back to like japan and cause like absolute havoc unless she turns the army again unless she can turn the twice army against the villain against the villain i mean that's yeah. that's if we can get her to talk to like deku and araka like properly I'm still like on the same page, like or at least I'm like hoping that you know they do talk to her like properly. But this is not like the greatest like place for it. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> it's not, but they might have to. Yeah, because um, actually, I I I think Araka like said it best like during like her first skirmish or the previous skirmish. It just it is what it is, and it's really difficult to like look past everything she's already done. So it might take Deku and, like, his new resolve to, like, bring her back to it. But it's also, like, there's an added bit of pressure because, one, she's not going to stop. And, two, it's already a battlefield. <clears throat> it's, in like, near difficult to do that. Need some water? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> I hear it in your throat. <laughs> oh, great. When you can actually, like, like tell it. Is it <clears throat> 
crumbling a little bit. I was like, oh, yeah, this man needs some water. Man, dude, I will say, though, like, when one of the... One of the inheritors, like, say, like, this one's something else. Bruh, do something else. Yeah, like, when one of the former users of One Crow says, this girl is built different. I, I'm pretty sure he would also add the fact that, like, if it if it wasn't, like, for, like, what I've been through, she would probably kill me. He said, I probably... She would be the first one to take me down. That's what's gonna happen. That's so... Oh, man, now I'm, like, I'm really curious. Like, obviously we saw, like, a bit of, like, backstory on her end, but it's, it's set up in a way that's still very twisted and something that, like, even Toga doesn't really, like dwell into a lot it's all about like what's current for her but again hopefully i think it's because it's very painful for her yeah she has this like she has to keep that surface and i think a lot of it is because of how she is now unfortunately yeah that's all her whole situation is that society doesn't accept like how she communicates quote unquote <laughs> so it is what it is He's really got to focus on how she was affection. <laughs> like, you know, there's other ways. I, I still can't help but, like, look at, like, the top right panel, like, from the second to last page. of just her, like, whoosh. Like, she came in fast as fuck. Like, that was quick. <laughs> and in contrast, we have, like, Araka, like, very tiny, like, bit of her, like, on the bottom right panel. She's just getting swept up by everything. But damn, dude. I, I do also like um, them, like, introducing the island resort. <laughs> and cutting to gang Orca. They're coming! Is it there coming? But yeah, also the realization about, like, all for fingers. All for fingers? Fingers. All for fingers, dude. Like he makes a really good point. Like, like any of them like activate decay and decay, and decay doesn't isn't like a turn on turn off. It is simply touch, and it happens. Touch. So it doesn't matter if like all for one or Shigaraki even like realize that like it's on. It's just gonna happen. <laughs> so it, it, it's just there. So Deku literally has to like hoof it across the entire Pacific Ocean <laughs> to reach it. Fajin. Yeah, Fajin has to go in like <laughs> Fajin has to go dummy hard to get Deku all the way over. <laughs> where's that like where's the foe one thousand percent? Oh, 1,000%. We could use that. That's so crazy. Also, I like, um... Obviously, I think Mirko, like, and her, like, prosthetics, like, initially, like, start off, like, like really robust, but, like, when she loses it, she has to, like, resort to, like, just some pretty, like... I wouldn't say basic, but I would say, like, pretty, like, um... deconstructed, like, amounts of use. Because, um... Uh, we're familiar with the prosthetic on her leg. It just simply is just a, to support it, and so there's no it's, like additional. It's one of those feet. Yeah, there's no real like use or need for like additional like, um, uh, I guess armament like on that side because she literally it's has a. They, it's just to make they can make the the arm so good, but the leg is somewhat to be desired. So it's like well, that's odd. Yeah, that's absolutely really true because like who knows what the fuck that arm is. <laughs> It almost looks like a thing of cement at the very end. Looks very big, very bulky. I love the uh, the banter that like she and Baku have. It's it's very I like love it. it's very on brand of both of them. Very, they're very high, they're both very high strung. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be really tricky again. Like I I now I really hope that they like focus in on the um. The Toga fight here and this is very important because I think Toga has always been like on that like portion like or on that edge where she can revert back to like a good like person, but it takes a lot, and I think this might be this is the deciding factor where whether they can save her 
or they can't, and they just have to beat the shit out of her. But we'll see. You go in for. I mean, we see Toga. She's willing to risk it all. Look at that. <laughs> this is true. It's so. She is willing to risk it all. <laughs> She's out here risking it all. Dude, from day one. And the reason that she's like in love with Deku is so weird, too. She just saw her, like, saw him all, like, bruised up. Very free control of all, like, one for all. And she was like, God damn. I. <laughs> she's like, I want it. <laughs> I want, I want that. And they're just like, um. It's almost like, is this just downright, like, obsession? For almost no reason. She doesn't, she probably doesn't even really know too much about him aside from like the technicality of things. Like, oh, you know, one for all, couple quirks like on hand. Um, the small amount of time they've had. She's for like, I mean, I mean, here's the thing like, I mean, she's, she's had time to observe him, time to at least see what he's like. Not a, not a lot, but at least a little bit. I guess so. But even then, I mean, like, she disguised, I, her, she disguised herself as Uraraka before. This is true. And that's the, probably the closest, like, like she's ever gotten to Deku, but Deku's also changed just a little bit since then, too. And even then, like, that was during, like, other, under, like, some pretty stressful, like, circumstances, too. But, I guess it also kind of shows off her, like, his character, too, because he did just see through, like, uh, her, um, her fake, so. Oh, absolutely. He's, he saw, he, he knows how to tell the difference between the real one and the fake one. Mm-hmm. The same danger sense isn't going off for her because you see, she's just like her sense of love is just that twisted. This, it's like say, take for it's like take for example. There's um, it's like with Deadpool. I mean, Taskmaster. Taskmaster can predict every move his opponent makes. Deadpool is so unpredictable, even to himself. This that is true. Taskmaster couldn't do anything. Just because he's that unpredictable. Very well. I want to make note of someone's comment, like, like, like on the website. Could Toga avoid tricking like the Spider Man Spider Sense if she fell in love with him? If so, that's hilariously dangerous. It's hilariously dangerous. It's true. Someone else says, "I hate to say it, man, but he has to do it. Forget the war." Toga's the true ending. <laughs> Toga's the true ending. No. What? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know, dude. Nah, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. <laughs> God, dude. That's me. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say something, but I was like, no way, no. That's it's so twisted. <laughs> Like, if you ask me, it ain't worth it. <laughs> it ain't worth it. But, uh, alright. I think that's pretty much it. Like, really cool shots. Um, super gross. <laughs> gross fingers. Uh, let me check and see the next release date, then. Also, uh, also Amagichi, or Amagiki, he was like, uh, yeah, uh, sure, genius. I, I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> He's a bit awkward, so it works. That's understandable for him. Uh, let's see. It says that the chapter's coming in five days, actually. Not seven. So, oh. what was it? One, two, three, four, five. Are we talking about this upcoming Friday? Damn. I mean, I mean, huge average Friday for me, anyway. Uh, what's going on? I said, I mean, it's usually every Friday for me, anyway. Huh. Okay. Oh, huh. But that's because I read. You different. don't worry. You read ahead. I got you. But I was like, mm, usually it releases here like every like Sunday. So that's interesting. So, I mean, I'm off on that Friday too. So we can make something work on that too. Okay. We'll uh we'll figure that out. We'll just uh for now we'll we'll place that as a like 11 a.m. on on Friday then. See if we can make that work. But uh yeah. So we'll figure out the logistics, but for now we'll just kind of like have it scheduled like that. But all right, so we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Hope to see you guys in the next one.